Hey, what's up? Welcome to Degen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of this is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts like the chart behind me, which is of NEO, ticker symbol NIO. And so here I am recording this on Wednesday, April 10th, during market hours, and the current price is right around $4.57 being down so far on the day a little under 3%. And yeah, I have been wondering if NEO has actually found a bottom over the past week. And you know, with this big move up yesterday on April 9th, going up almost 8% on the day, this big green candle, I am thinking that the bottom is in at $4.36. And I actually had an order placed at $4.36, if we did wick below that, you know, that would get filled and then I could reevaluate. But I actually just adjusted that right before making this video, thinking that we will not be revisiting 436. And so I adjusted that small addition uh, to be at the open from yesterday at $4.43. I think we quite possibly might hit that level, but I don't think that the order at $4.36 will be filled anymore. I don't think we'll be revisiting that level, but you know, it's quite possible we do. Uh, and in that case, you know, I will just be adding a little bit higher and you know, I'm fine with that. Uh, but just in case we don't hit that level, I did want to add to my position. And so looking at the chart here, I did adjust some levels. I did remove some and add some. And really, you know, I did have a Fibonacci retracement from last week's video going from the low here hit on March 5th, going up to the high hit on March 12th. But I did remove that because I do feel like we found a bottom. So I did the retracement from that high on the 12th at $6.30 coming down to the low hit on April 3rd, being at a price of $4.36. And from that Fibonacci retracement, you can see the levels here. I will go over some of them that do stand out to me. And one level that does correspond uh, with the previous low here that was at a price of $4.73, so that low uh, hit on the 5th. I do have that marked by the red line here and the level, the Fibonacci level that does correspond with that is the 236 at a price of $4 and right around 82 cents. And I do think that's going to be a pretty important level for us to get to and close above, whether that's 478 or 481, 482, right around there. As we do see that yesterday's high, so the high on the 9th was at a price of $4.79. So we did wick above that red line, but could not close above it. And so I do think that is going to be a significant level for 79. And that is because we've seen all of these wicks as we have been consolidating up to around that level, getting around, you know, $4.70 sense, but we have not seen any closes above them. The highest close was yesterday's close, which was at a price of $4.71, but we could not close above those prior highs. So the high on April 4th was $4.75. We did not close above it. And the high on April 1st was again $4.75. We could not close above it. So I would look for Really, you know, at this point, not just a close above 475, but a close above 479, because that now is the new high as we have been consolidating here. And so getting a close above that could suggest further upside. Getting a second close above that level, above that new high, could suggest confirmation of continued moves higher. So that is what I am looking for. But if we do pull back, if we do go lower, like I said, the open for from yesterday, $4.43. That does stand out to me as a level to pay attention to, potentially to dip buy at. But then of course, $4.36. That may be a good dip buying opportunity if we do get to that level. But if we close below $4.36, that could suggest further downside. So, you know, that is one to be paying attention to, potentially a good dip buying opportunity, but potentially also uh, a level that if we close below it, uh, it's starting to get risky. And so if we don't see that, if we don't see closes below 436, 
and we do start to see it closes above 478, 479, and into the 480s, I could see us retesting this downtrend, and that could be getting to prices right around $5 a share, also being a psychological level. Uh, but then above that, we do have the 382, that is at a price of $5 and right around 10 cents. So that is a possibility in the future if we are to be getting closes above these key levels, especially getting multiple closes above $5 a share. I think that could be really good for the stock, but you know, I am still in the position of thinking that we are seeing a great sale, a great discount on NEO, and I do think that we will be seeing higher prices getting above $5 a share, potentially getting to $6 a share, but on the way testing these levels that you know I do have marked here that uh, I think might be good to keep an eye on, but for the time being, I think it's the 480s, $5, and $5.10 and that we need to be paying attention to. And next week, you know, I'll go over these other levels if we are still holding 436 as the floor. But you know, those are just my thoughts. If you found them helpful, make sure you like the video, share your thoughts in the comments down below, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching.